Hi, this is Tom Flynn, Senior Account Manager at Bullseye Locations. Today I'd like to show you how to quickly upload your locations in a CSV file. This video will be directed at users that are just getting used to the Bullseye system, perhaps uploading for the first time with a trial. So I'm not going to go over every single detail with the upload. I'm going to stick to pretty basic features. We'll probably do other videos which will show uh, the more advanced features, but I, I basically want to show uh, people that are using a pretty basic locator how to get uploaded relatively quickly. So what we'll go over is, uh, number one, we'll look at some upload options that we have. We'll look at formatting your file. And we'll also take a look at using Bullseye's error reporting. I also should mention that our philosophy with the upload is that basically we want your locations uh, to be correct. We want customers to be able to find your locations. So we have pretty granular error reporting, which means that it takes a little bit of time uh, to get things uploaded. But with a little experience, this can be done really quickly and it pays off in the end since it's really important that people can find your location. So it's, it's worth the extra effort. So I'm actually logged in to an account already. So if you look at manage locations, you need to navigate to there. And then if you go to the import option, you'll get this screen and select import once again. And you'll see that there's two options. We've got map import fields and use bullseye location import template. So the map import fields option is used if you don't want to use our template. So our template has a certain format you need to follow. There's column headers that have been named uh, a precise way. So you need to match that with ours. So you can download our template and use that or map your own fields to ours if you have a, you know, a different uh, column format. If you use map import fields, you also cannot use that if you have a locator that filters by uh, products. It's basically for straight searches with you know, zip code or city state. So if you're doing that filtering, this option can't be used. So let's take a look at this option. You need to browse to the file. I've already created this file. I'm going to select that. And before you hit import locations, you need to be cognizant that there's a couple of upload actions that work with map import fields. And those are append, um, excuse me, append or update works like clear and append. So append is basically adding locations to the list. So if you have previously uploaded locations, you can add to that list without worrying about replacing ones that are in there already. If you're working with a complete list, you would use update. So that's going to replace everything with what you are trying to upload. Note that when you use the update option, everything gets replaced and that affects the reporting because uh, you're essentially creating a new location each time you, you do that update and then it will be in the reporting multiple times because it's you know you, you're continuously replacing it so it makes the reporting easier to follow if you use another option which is called update and insert however that option is only available in the template option so be cognizant of that as well and we'll cover that in a second so let's choose the append option and then we'll select import locations and you get this screen here which asks you to map your fields to ours so for instance the location name field since i'm actually using our template here it's using our terminology but you may have a different column heading you might call it dealer name or dealer whatever it is called you need to make sure that you map it to the correct bullseye field so if you have dealer name Obviously, that would be location name. 
And it's pretty easy to interpret what we have here. I mean, URL, you might call that website. Um, some of these fields probably aren't even going to be used. I mean, a lot of clients aren't using internet locations. So just look for fields that would apply. You might call address one, address, et cetera, and just map it to the correct fields as needed. And then scroll down to the bottom and select import. So that's how that works. Um, I'd also like to take a look at how to format the uh, CSV file. So I am working with our template here. There's a few required fields. Location name is required. So make sure you have that filled out. Country is required. So make sure that's filled out. And this is actually erroneous here, and we'll we'll see why in a second. So put the country in here. Country can be the abbreviation, or it can be the full name of the country. You're going to want to have address one, although address one is not required. Most of our clients will want to have the address in there for accuracy's sake. And then zip postal code is also required. So make sure you include that. Um, in the northeast. You have zeros in the zip codes and Excel chops that off, but don't worry about that. We got you covered. We'll actually append that zero for you. You're also going to probably want to have city and state in there. The state province field is required for most countries. So those are the required fields. If you're using the categories uh, to filter your locations by products, you would create those beforehand and then just put an X in that column if you want to have um, the location assigned to that particular product. So that's a real nuts and bolts look at um, how to format the CSV file. Again, we'll probably create some more videos to discuss each of these you know columns in more detail but i want to you know show you how to just cover the nuts and bolts in this particular video so after you you get your csv file formatted you can import that so if i select import and then okay let's see what happens so you get this spinning thing here it tells me it's validating and that the upload is in progress and not to refresh my browser. Let's see what happens. Well, it failed. So let's see why it failed. Uh, a lot of people seem to miss this option here. It's very important to know that we've got this view errors message here. So if you select this, also look at the message here that says there were some invalid rows in the file. If I go to view errors, It says uh, the country field that the supplied country code is not valid. So I'm going to get a helpful link here, which will show me how to format that. So I know that this was for this particular row, row two, there's an invalid value. So um, this shows us that the U you can use US, USA, or United States as a as the criteria to enter for that. So let's take a look at the file once again. Row two, I see that the country field is S, so that should be US. I select that. And let's save this file once again. And let's do another upload. <clears throat> so I'll go back to import, map import fields, and then let's select the same file and do import once again. It'll ask me to confirm the fields.
and it fixed one of the errors. I actually forgot to fix the other error we were looking at before. So we'll go to view errors. And it says username email already exists in our system. So if this is actually an advanced feature here, if, if you want to allow um, dealers to log into the system, you need to have a unique email address for each of those locations. So let's look at row 28 of this file. Row 28. Oh, so I see that I have this here. I'm actually going to delete this. And I bring this up, you know, if, if you're uploading for the first time and you don't have a lot of time to uh, do the upload, sometimes it's a good idea just to delete the rows that you don't need. And you can always fix them later on. So let's say you have 10 errors out of 10,000 locations. Why not just get rid of those columns for now and you can fix them later? So let's do that in this case here. I'm going to save this file, just delete that row, and then go back right to here, and we'll do another import. We'll choose map fields, go to that same file. We'll do the import and let's see what happens. And that completed. So that was fairly painless. Um, the things to remember here are make sure that you use a CSV file format. Uh, make sure that you use the view errors option if you do get an error and be sure to be cognizant of you know, the append option and update option, choose the, the right option for that. Now, to briefly cover the template option, it's really the same thing, except that you need to use our template basically. So if I go to use location template option and then browse to it, video upload, uh, I mentioned before that you have this update and insert option that's right here. So when you use this option, you're able to uh, keep the locations intact and make edits to those locations so that you keep the integrity of the reports that I talked about before. However, if you use this option, you need to download your locations first from Bullseye because there's an ID that we assign. So if I go to export, I'll show you this. If go to export, I'm going to open up this file. Oop, got an error there for some reason. There we go. So after you upload locations for the first time, you get this location ID. So you would need this in order to use that update and insert option. So you would download the locations first and then do the upload in order to use update and insert. So this is easy to do as well. You just select the uh, template option, browse to the file, and then select one of these three options. You can use the update and insert option. So I hope that was fairly painless. It actually uh, is pretty easy to use. The first time you do the upload, you may encounter some errors. Uh, we do our best to display um, errors for you. If you come across errors that you are unfamiliar with, you can contact me for help. We'll leave my email address at the bottom. And again, we will be making some more videos for advanced uploading options for more advanced uh, locators and we'll get those up as soon as possible. Uh, but for now, take a look at this video uh, for help and contact me if you have any questions. Again, this is Tom from With Bullseye. Uh, my email address is at the bottom. And thanks for using Bullseye. Mm -hmm.